You're watching O'Toole Zimone, and this is USA. In this new episode of Auto Zimon in United States of America, we'll visit the capital city of Washington. You'll see the Capitol, the Mall, the beautiful Potomac, and the Georgetown District. We will also watch an American football game. For those who live in North America, there is nothing better than a long weekend in the city of Washington, D.C. The capital of the United States is full of activities of all kinds and will please the whole family. Our three-day trip starts at the end of the day as we take the plane to the District of Columbia. First stop at the restaurant. The city is full of quality kitchen. Our suggestion go like us in the Union Market area where you'll find amazing restaurants. Welcome to the U.S. Capitol, an iconic building of the American Capitol and of democracy in America. Since 1812, the Capitol has been home to the elected officials who make up Congress, namely the Houses of Representatives and the Senate. This 88-meter-high neoclassical building overlooks the city with its impressive dome Tours are available every day except Sunday. To avoid long lines, book your tour a few days before arriving in Washington. Alors, nous montons présentement des escaliers roulants. Ces escaliers ont été installés sous le bâtiment républicain. Comme vous pouvez voir, c'est très efficace. The capital is not only impressive because of its geographical location, but also of its central role in the American political system. For us, a trip to the American capital will not be complete without a visit to this mythical building. One of the highlights of the hour-long tour is entering the Capitol Rotunda, where you can admire a mural of George Washington on the ceiling and a 300-foot long strip depicting important milestones in the history of the Republic. Inside, in addition to the Houses of Representatives and the Senate, there are many paintings, statues, and historical exhibits. Also available are the National Statuary Hall, the original meeting place of the House of Representatives, the Old Senate Chamber, the crypt, which features 40 Doric columns and a marble head of Lincoln, and the Old Supreme Court Chamber. Interesting fact, most of the capitals, museums, and government sites are free including, of course, the capital. To be Washington, stressful. And you admire the capital. You come to visit the capital, you're fatigued. What do you do? It's time to go to the foire. Washington has many free museums. The city has a great architecture and is pleasant to walk. The Ford Theater is a must-see in Washington for those who like American history. It is here that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated on April 14, 
1865. The place houses a small museum dedicated to the history of this famous president. As he reached Philadelphia, Abraham Lincoln heard rumors of a plot to murder him. The building was originally a Baptist church built in 1833 before being converted into a theater in 1861. <laughs> Home of the U.S. Constitution, the National Archive is a must-see stop during a trip in Washington. It also houses many important documents of American history. The same goes for the White House. There is not much to see, but there is always action and colorful characters. Get a For a single picture, it's worth the stop. The National Mall is a national park that stretches just over two miles, from the Capitol in the east to the Lincoln Memorial and the Potomac River in the west. The park is home to several museums as well as many famous memorials and monuments, including the Washington Monument, the 169-meter obelisk that can be seen from every corner of Washington. It is the most visited destination on Capitol Hill, with an estimated 25 million tourists visiting annually. Over time, the mall has served as a gathering point for the nation's most important events. The mall, and in particular the Lincoln Memorial and the water mirror in front of it, is intimately connected to the civil rights movement. It is here that Martin Luther King delivered his famous I have a dream speech. Among the places not to be missed is the memorial built in honor of Abraham Lincoln, a large white marble building in the shape of a Greek temple. It houses a monumental statue of President Lincoln, seated and gazing out toward the Capitol. On the grounds, inscriptions from two of his most famous speeches remind us of this president's pivotal role in American history. In the United States, the national sport is American football. It's a national passion and you have to see a game when you're in the country. Unfortunately for us, the weather was very gloomy and we were very wet. So we ended the game at the hotel. An evening walk also allow you to discover the magnificence of the city buildings. Not only are the subway station great in Washington, but it's a great way to get around the city. We used it to get to the Pentagon. Visiting the place is not a must, but if you have time, it can be entertaining.
called the American pastime, baseball is still a popular sport in the United States. So we took advantage of our stay in Washington to go to the national stadiums, the local team. There are many ways to discover the American capital, and one of them is certainly by taking the Potomac, one of the least busiest routes in Washington. It allows you to discover the city from a unique perspective. To go to the Georgetown district, we choose to do it with a water cap. This allows us to contemplate again the main monuments such as the Pentagon, Kennedy Center and the Watergate Hotel. If time permits, this is an option we highly recommend. To conclude our stay in Washington, we choose to visit the Georgetown neighborhood. Georgetown's history dates back to the 18th century, when the Scottish settled there. The city was founded in 1751 by George Beale and George Gordon, when George II was King of England, hence the confusion about its name. Today. The area is well known for the university that bears its name. We hope you enjoyed that new episode of Autour du Monde in USA. In our next episode, we'll visit few battlefield and Mount Vernon.